Will you make a car building tips video? Not right now. Hi, here are the requirements you need for this tutorial. Hey, pause if you want, on with the video. Level 1. Start the base of the windshield, make it look clean, scale it down until the 0.05 gap. Stretch it out until it reaches the roof. Start placing your side windows. Make it look clean, scale it down, stretch it. Do the same thing on the other. Connect both side windows to windshield, clone this part. Stretch out the side windows, then rotate the former until it aligns together. Scale back the windows, then clone. Rotate this until it aligns. Adjust to fit, then fill the remaining gaps. You already have the frame, so it will be easy. Place a block here. Scale inwards with 0.05 scale. Do the same on this part. Scale inwards. Scale it outwards if it's too narrow. Stretch to the roof. And now, you have to do it on the other side. Level 2. Start the base of the windshield. Scale downwards. And stretch it out until it reaches the roof. Make sure both parts are aligned. Place the side windows. Don't forget to do on the other side. Clone this. Align both ends. Scale it like this so these two should be connected. Clone again. Rotate the set part until it connects the base and top part. It should look something like this. Scale this outwards, then do the same thing here. Select both, then clone. Rotate both. Move it back. Remove this once. Scale it back. Clone this. Now rotate it like this until it matches the white part. All set for our tip 2 from the tips video. Stretch the side windows for your reference and start gap fixing. Clone, rotate, after finishing the frame, repeat the method on the other side, then start gap filling. Place a block at the edge of the windshield and at the edge of the side mirror. Stretch both until the roof and there we go. Level 3. Start by placing the base of the windshield, align the set base, scale it inwards until the 0.05 gap and stretch it before the second half of the windshield. Clone this part, rotate it, then attach to the previous. Stretch it till it hits the roof. Do the first step specifically for this part only. Clone this. Rotate till it aligns. Scale this outward by 0.5 on both sides. Try to select the two yellow parts. Clone these. Rotate. Move it back. Then remove this once. Scale it back. And if you did it correctly, it should look like this. Place a chair here. Select the first half with the chair and clone it. In my case, I have 4 spots to fill, so I need 4 clones. Place every chair, then transfer the cloned parts with the cake glitch. If you did it correctly, it should look like this. We only did the bottom half first so the top half can be as flat as possible. And this is what we're going to try. Just make sure this part is aligned with two sticks at the bottom. Clone this, rotating it at 2 degrees to check. If two parts are parallel to each other, you rotate it too much. If the bottom half reaches the roof without meeting the top half, you rotate it to less. Now trying 1 degree. It should look like this. Scale the white stick up, align these two like this, clone this part. 1 degree is too less for this part, so I have to rotate again. I'm going to add 1 more degree. So you see, the top half has less curvature, the bottom has more. Add your side windows, you can already tell what we're going to do. Align these, clone the last bottom half part. Rotate till it aligns with the side window, clone the last top half part. Rotate till it aligns with the same. Continue to use tip number 2, you should know how to do it by now. shield should look like this after you finish the frame. Don't forget to do the same on the opposite side. Then start gap filling. I hope you finished it symmetrically. You can scale the outer parts of the windshield inwards to create the space for the pillar. I'm just doing it like this because I'm lazy. There you have it. A proper windshield. And that is it for the video. I hope this faster pace is good for a tutorial and I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Bye!